I could see this taking a week, so I decided to just make it number one priority today. And so far, this morning I just came out and did this one, and by the time I got all the stuff cut for this one, that one was dry, so I did this one, and I'd just been going the whole time non-stop, except for snack time. Now this is the first one that's still not cured. I've already got my fiberglass cut for it, my pole, half pole. I didn't show these yet. It's just a PVC pipe cut in half with some slots cut so it'll uh, conform to the curve I'm putting into this. So I'm just waiting for this. This one's going slower because the sun is behind the clouds right now. What I was doing was I would put up the umbrella so I'd be in the shade, get all the fiberglass on here, then take the umbrella away. And once this is in full sun, it cures really fast. So that's why I've been able to do so many of these at once. Oh, and I've also been putting paper on the bottom so I don't have to keep waxing this form. Oh, getting solid. Still a little too soft to move though. Right now it's in a phase where it is solid, but if I move it, it'll flex, and then when it hardens, it'll, it'll take that shape. So I want to keep it in this little form until it's hard. Still have time to get the last three done if it doesn't rain. Oh, I guess while I'm waiting, I can stuff this thing into the boat mm, prop shaft tube. And I lathed this down to the right side to stuff it in. Right size to stuff it in. Oh, I should make that a little looser. Yeah. Did you Oh yeah, that was my goal for today. A couple hours of light left. What should I do now? What are you guys doing? Going to set up for doll wedding. For doll wedding? All right, now what are the chances I can get this shaft off without the sleeves inside moving? important one stayed where it should be. Nice. Get the other one out of here. Oh, it's stuck. Well, just have to file the 
insides of those holes a little bit. Couldn't we see those what the princess holes are? Cool. Whoa. Might need another person to grab this at the top. Alright. Long monkey arms. Got it. Looks like I'm getting a free propeller test. Hmm. Well, that's not enough space to get the motor in. You have to cut this a little. Hopefully, that's enough space. Hopefully, this still fits. Oh, great. Oh. Looks like I still have enough clearance there. Barely. Places. No, that's. Let's <sighs> get lined up. Oh, I can't believe it. It's in. So good. Don't hit, don't hit. Ah, oh, it hits the bottom. The motor's hitting just under here. So I need to shave a little off. I think I'll shave it off the motor. Because I don't want to put a hole through that. It wouldn't really... It probably wouldn't matter if I put a hole through that. But there's no reason to. I can just shave off a bit of the motor on the other side. Just like a tiny bit. Should be plenty. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Nice work. All right, that sucker's in. just resting on a piece of wood right now. I'll have to work on, you know, mounting the frame later. Totally functional right now though. Oh, look at that. There's a prop shaft at the back. No propeller yet. That shaft is much heavier duty than that one.
got dented in shipping. Not surprising. Whew, almost out of paint. What? You just want to get some, how do you make white? This is actually light gray. I put some, I got, I bought white and then I put some black in there. Do I have, do you use you a You can tell white? if you put something really white next to it. Solar panels will cover all that that's middle so, part. That's so ridiculous. I did paint the spaces between where the solar panels go in case the strip of light gets through there. 